Jabir bin Hayyad. Lithogoras. Al Barumi. Al Batani. Ibn Sina. Al Faradi. Jabir bin Hayyan, also known as Jibir, was a prominent Islamic alchemist, chemist, and philosopher who lived during the 8th and 9th centuries. He is considered one of the most influential figures in the history of chemistry and alchemy. He developed new techniques for distillation, sublimation, and crystallization, which are still used in chemistry today. Jabir bin Hayyan made significant contributions to various fields, including chemistry, medicine, and alchemy. He is known for his extensive writings, which covered a wide range of topics, including chemical processes, experimental techniques, and the properties of various substances. One of Jabir's most important contributions was the development of the scientific method, which emphasized systematic experimentation and observation. He believed that theories should be tested through practical experiments and that knowledge should be based on empirical evidence. Jabir bin Hayyan also made significant advancements in the field of alchemy. He believed in the transmutation of metals and worked extensively on the purification and synthesis of various substances. In addition to his scientific contributions, Jabir bin Hayyan also had a significant impact on Islamic philosophy. He wrote extensively on metaphysics, ethics and theology, and his works influenced many later Islamic philosophers. The exact details of Jabir bin Hayyan's life and death are not well documented. It is believed that he lived for more than 70 years and died around the year 815. His legacy, however, continues to be celebrated and his contributions to science and philosophy are still recognized today. Pythagoras. Pythagoras was an ancient Greek mathematician, philosopher, and founder of the Pythagorean school of thought. He was born around 570 BC on the island of Samos in Greece and died around 495 BC. While many details about his life and work remain uncertain, Pythagoras made significant contributions to various fields, including mathematics, philosophy, music, and astronomy. In mathematics, Pythagoras is best known for the Pythagorean theorem all chords me. which states that in a right-angled triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse of the side opposite the right angle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. This theorem revolutionized the study of geometry and had wide-ranging applications in various areas of mathematics. Pythagoras also developed the concept of numbers as abstract entities, independent of physical objects. He believed that numbers were the building blocks of the universe and that they held mystical and spiritual significance. This idea laid the foundation for the development of number theory and the understanding of mathematical relationships. In addition to mathematics, Pythagoras was deeply interested in philosophy and metaphysics.
he believed in the concept of the soul and its immortality, as well as the idea of reincarnation. Pythagoras taught that the soul goes through a cycle of rebirths, with each life providing an opportunity for spiritual growth and purification. Pythagoras also had a profound influence on music theory. He believed that music had the power to harmonize the soul and bring about a sense of balance and order. He discovered the mathematical relationships between musical intervals and developed the concept of the octave, which forms the basis of modern musical scales. Furthermore, Pythagoras made significant contributions to astronomy. He believed in the concept of a heliocentric universe, with the sun at the center, and that the planets and stars moved in perfect circular orbits. While his astronomical theories were not entirely accurate, they laid the groundwork for future advancements in the field. Pythagoras' teachings and ideas were not only mathematical and scientific, but also had a strong ethical and moral component. He emphasized the importance of self-discipline, moderation, and the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom. His teachings influenced a generation of followers who formed the Pythagorean school, which continued to develop his ideas after his death. Overall, Pythagoras was a multifaceted figure who made significant contributions to mathematics, philosophy, music, and astronomy. His ideas and discoveries continue to shape our understanding of the world today. Al-Biruni Al-Biruni was a renowned scholar and polymath who lived in the 11th century in Central Asia. He was born in the city of Kath in what is now Uzbekistan in 973 CE. Al-Biruni was a man of many talents and interests. His contributions to various fields of knowledge were significant and far-reaching. Al-Biruni was a scholar of mathematics, astronomy, geography, history, and linguistics. He was fluent in Persian, Arabic, and Sanskrit, and he translated many works from these languages into Arabic. His translations of Indian texts in particular were instrumental in introducing Indian mathematics and astronomy to the Islamic world. Al-Biruni's original works were equally impressive. He wrote over 150 books on a wide range of subjects, including mathematics, astronomy, geography, history, and religion. His most famous works include the Book of Instruction in the Elements of the Art of Astrology, the Chronology of Ancient Nations, and the India Book. In addition to his scholarly pursuits, Al-Biruni was also an accomplished traveler. He traveled extensively throughout Central Asia, India, and the Middle East, His work, The Chronology of Ancient Nations, is considered one of the most comprehensive and accurate accounts of ancient history. Al-Biruni was also a philosopher and theologian. He wrote extensively on the nature of God and the relationship between religion and science. His work on Islamic theology, 
The determination of the coordinates of positions for the correction of distorted books on the sphere is still studied by scholars today. Overall, al-Biruni was a remarkable figure in the history of scholarship. His contributions to mathematics, astronomy, geography, history, and linguistics were groundbreaking, and his work continues to be studied and admired by scholars today. Al-Batani Abu Abdullah Muhammad Dibn Jabir al-Batani, commonly known as al-Batani and al-Batani, also known as al batagnius was a highly respected and Arab Muslim astronomer and mathematician. Who lived during the Islamic Golden Age. He was born in the city of Haran, which is now located in modern-day Turkey, in the year 858 C. Botani, also known as al batagnius was a highly respected Arab astronomer, mathematician, and astrologer who lived during the Islamic Golden Age. He was born in the city of Haran, which is now located in modern-day Turkey in the year 858 C. al batani was born into a family of astronomers and was exposed to the field of astronomy from a young age. He studied under his father and other prominent astronomers of his time and eventually became one of the most influential astronomers of the medieval Islamic world. al batani made significant contributions to the field of astronomy, particularly in the area of observational astronomy. He was one of the first astronomers to accurately measure the length of the solar year, which he did by observing the equinoxes and solstices. He also made detailed observations of the movements of the planets and stars, which he used to develop his own theories about the universe. One of al batanis most important contributions to astronomy was his development of trigonometry. He used this mathematical tool to calculate the positions of the planets and stars, and his work in this area was highly influential in the development of modern trigonometry. al batani was also a skilled astrologer and believed that the movements of the planets and stars could influence human affairs. He used his knowledge of astrology to make predictions about future events, and his predictions were highly respected by the people of his time. Al-Batani's work was highly influential in the development of astronomy and mathematics in the Islamic world. His observations and calculations were used by later astronomers, including Copernicus and Kepler, to refine their own theories. Overall, al batani was a pioneering figure in the field of astronomy, and his contributions helped lay the foundation for modern astronomy and mathematics. His legacy continues to be celebrated today with numerous schools, universities, and scientific institutions named in his honor. Ibn Sina Abu Ali al Husan ibn Sina, also known as Avikenna, was a Persian polymath who lived from 980 to 1037 AD. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential thinkers and scholars in the Islamic Golden Age. Ibn Sina made significant contributions to various fields, including philosophy, medicine, psychology, physics, astronomy, mathematics, and poetry. 
Born in the city of Afshana near Bukhara in present-day Uzbekistan, Ibn Sina displayed exceptional intellectual abilities from a young age. He began studying the Quran and Arabic grammar at the age of 10, and by the age of 16 he had already mastered various subjects, including mathematics, logic, and metaphysics. Ibn Sina's most celebrated work is the Canon of Medicine, a comprehensive medical encyclopedia that became a standard medical textbook in Europe and the Islamic world for centuries. The Canon covers a wide range of medical topics, including anatomy, physiology, pathology, pharmacology, and therapeutics. Ibn Sina's approach to medicine was heavily influenced by the ancient Greek physician Hippocrates and the Roman physician Galen. He also incorporated his own observations and theories, making significant advancements in the field. In addition to medicine, Ibn Sina made significant contributions to philosophy. His major philosophical work, The Book of Healing, explores topics such as metaphysics, ethics, logic, and psychology. He developed a comprehensive philosophical system that integrated Aristotelian and Neoplatonic ideas with Islamic theology. Ibn Sina's philosophical ideas had a profound impact on later Islamic philosophers and theologians. Ibn Sina was also a pioneer in the field of psychology. He believed that the mind and body were closely interconnected and that mental and physical health were interdependent. He explored the nature of the soul, consciousness, and emotions, laying the foundation for the development of modern psychology. In the field of physics and astronomy, Ibn Sina made important contributions to optics and the study of light. He developed a theory of vision that challenged the prevailing ideas of his time and laid the groundwork for later advancements in optics. He also made observations and calculations related to astronomy, contributing to the understanding of celestial movements and the development of astronomical instruments. Ibn Sina's contributions to mathematics include advancements in algebra and geometry. He developed new mathematical techniques and solved complex equations, contributing to the development of algebraic methods. His work on conic sections and the classification of quadrilaterals also had a significant impact on geometry. Beyond his scientific and philosophical pursuits, Ibn Sina was a prolific writer and poet. He composed numerous poems in Arabic and Persian, covering a wide range of topics including love, nature, and spirituality. In Sina's influence extended far beyond his own time. His works were translated into Latin during the Middle Ages and became foundational texts in European universities. His ideas and theories influenced numerous scholars and philosophers, including Thomas Aquinas and René Descartes. Today, Ibn Sina is revered as one of the greatest thinkers in the history of Islamic civilization and his contributions continue to be studied and appreciated. Al-Faradi Al-Farabi, also known as Abu Nasr Al-Farabi or Al-Farabias, was a renowned philosopher, scientist, and musician who lived during the 9th and 10th centuries in the Islamic Golden Age. He was born in the city of Farab, 
present-day Kazakhstan in 872 C and is considered one of the most important figures in the history of Islamic philosophy. Al-Farabi's philosophical works covered a wide range of topics including metaphysics, ethics, political philosophy, logic, and psychology. He was greatly influenced by the works of ancient Greek philosophers such as Plato and Aristotle, as well as Islamic scholars like Ibn Sina Avicenna. Al-Farabi played a crucial role in synthesizing Greek and Islamic thought and contributed significantly to the development of Islamic philosophy. One of Al-Farabi's major contributions was his concept of the perfect state or ideal city. He believed that the ultimate goal of human beings is to achieve happiness and fulfillment and this can only be attained in a well-ordered society. According to Al-Farabi, the perfect state is a utopian society governed by a philosopher king or a virtuous ruler who guides the citizens towards the pursuit of virtue and knowledge. He emphasized the importance of education in shaping individuals and society and believe that the ruler should be a wise and knowledgeable philosopher who leads by example. Al-Farabi also made significant contributions to political philosophy, particularly in his book The Virtuous City. He classified different types of governments and analyzed their strengths and weaknesses. According to him, the best form of government is a virtuous monarchy followed by an aristocracy. He argued that a just ruler should govern with wisdom, justice, and compassion, ensuring the well-being and happiness of the citizens. Of in addition to his philosophical works, Al-Farabi was also a prolific writer in other fields. He wrote extensively on logic and was one of the pioneers of Islamic logic, introducing new ideas and methods. His works on music theory were highly influential, and he developed a system of musical scales known as the Al-Farabi scale. He also made significant contributions to mathematics, physics, and psychology, further showcasing his multidisciplinary approach. Al-Farabi's works were widely studied and translated into various languages, including Latin, Hebrew, and Persian. His ideas had a profound impact on subsequent Islamic philosophers and scholars, as well as European thinkers during the Middle Ages. His emphasis on reason, knowledge, and the pursuit of virtue continues to be relevant in contemporary philosophical discourse. Al-Farabi's legacy as a philosopher, scientist, and musician is a testament to the intellectual richness of the Islamic Golden Age. His works continue to inspire and influence scholars and thinkers across different cultures and disciplines, making him a pivotal figure in the history of philosophy.